Business and Bourbon. From Business and Bourbon, I am Ronnell Richards, and this is Day Drinking, your daily dose of business motivation, inspiration, and education. A bite sized version of Business and Bourbon wisdom to help you on your journey to personal and professional success. Welcome to a new day, day drinkers. If you've been paying attention to the news, business news that is, you may have read that America Online or AOL as it was most commonly known was just sold again. And for those of you that are probably under the age of 30, you don't really, (laughs) AOL doesn't really have much cultural significance to you. But for those over the age of 30 that may remember, some of you in that that earlier, the younger age of 30, maybe not so much, but you remember the days of dial-up, the dial-up internet. And in the days of dial-up, AOL was king. I mean, so much so that they became a cultural phenomenon. Uh, Some of you guys may remember the, I believe it's the movie When Harry Met Sal. No, I can't remember which movie it is. Don't get me lying. Don't get me lying because I've never even watched that movie. However, there is the iconic You've Got Mail sound that um, was used in lots of movies and, and it was synonymous with email at the time, just like Zoom is synonymous with web conferencing. You've got mail as that sound to let you know that email was coming in, and that was AOL sound. That's how synonymous AOL was with email and how synonymous they were with the internet at that time. So here we are in 2021, and AOL has been sold once again for a pretty small amount. In fact, it was bundled with Yahoo, another former Titan, for roughly, I think, four or five billion dollars. The mighty AOL. So what happened? Well, there's debate um, on what happened. You would think that where AOL was a leader in the internet, they were poised to continue to be a leader in the internet. They had lots of money. In fact, so much so that they their largest acquisition was Time Warner, which is still going strong, right? AOL Time Warner. I I'm not here to debate or tell you guys exactly what happened, but it just it's more of a wake up call in your business that just because you're killing it today, which a lot of you a lot of you are, a lot of you have been living in an artificial bubble for the last year and that artificial bubble being a a pandemic where you're having some success that you probably wouldn't have had otherwise, right? Maybe you're selling a technology that now everyone needs or, you know, people are all home now. And so they're consuming whatever it is that you sell at an unusual or extraordinary level, which is going to change guys. That's going to change. We're getting vaccinated. We're going to be out. All that stuff's going to change. Are you ready for that change? You see, much like AOL and there's other titans of industry that were that owned the marketplace. The key to longevity is you you must stay six, nine, twelve months ahead. You got to look around those corners. You got to know what's coming around the corner before it ever gets there. You have to stay innovative. One thing that's not up for debate is that the demise of AOL was. Um, really impacted by the rise of broadband, right? Different technology. See, AOL was a dial-up technology using, you know, copper lines to connect to the internet. Well, broadband's coming in off of cable and fiber and it's higher speed and it's it's um, you know, higher levels of, con- of connectivity and, and faster connectivity. And for whatever reason, they weren't a leader in that. And because of that, they didn't last. Um, they're, they're, they're now down to a paltry, I think around one, one and a half million subscribers. And these subscribers don't purchase broadband or connectivity from them. They, they purchase things like security. Anyway, I want you to think about this today in your business. If things are great, I'm happy for you. But you need to operate with a little bit of fear. 
a little bit of fear is totally is is totally acceptable and very powerful. And understanding that just because you're killing it today does not guarantee, does not give you the right to kill it tomorrow. What's going to make you successful is a healthy dose of fear and being uh, focused on, on, on what's going to happen next, right? You've got to look around the corners. You've got to be, uh, you've got to use some ingenuity. You've got to stay aggressive. So go enjoy your vacation <laughs> for those of you guys that were killing it. But when you're on vacation, you better take some time to figure out and think about and strategize what you're doing next. Stay aggressive, my friends. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to Day Drinking by Business and Bourbon. If you enjoyed our show, you can support it by rating us five stars and reviewing on Apple or your favorite podcast platform. Hey, I'd also like to invite you to join our movement to combat entrepreneur porn. You can do that by signing up for a free membership on the Business and Bourbon Network. You'll have access to exclusive content and forums where you can collaborate and uncover new business opportunities, jobs, investors, and further your business education. You can sign up at businessandbourbon.net. Again, that's businessandbourbon.net. Thank you for listening. And remember, your success is based on the little things you do each day, not the massive actions. Go out and execute the little things with discipline and consistency, and you'll be a winner in life and business.